These bishops came from many countries, including Syria, Spain, the U.S., and Poland. For three days, they gathered in Rome to attend a meeting titled Friends of the Focolare Movement. Today I'm here to participate in this regional gathering of bishop friends of the Focolare Movement, because when you have a purpose in life, you need to feed it. This meeting feeds us with its testimony and with our experiences in this world. It gives us strength. We live in a difficult environment and it challenges us. It builds resistance. For me, it was a moment of hope and clarity since I was young, 16 or 18, and learned about the movement in Spain, specifically in Avila. It moved me to later on keep delving into this spirituality. Several of the bishops who took part in the gathering live in areas that are deeply affected by violence and where simply being Christian is a risk. Being a Christian can cost you your life, especially in the task of conversion, because some Muslims ask for baptism and I don't do baptisms easily. I work with them for about two years and study their situation. I try to protect them because it's dangerous. We all know that what's at stake here is the survival of these ancient churches and the birthplace of Christianity, and we need to unite. That's why in Egypt they're thinking of creating a council of the various Christian churches. That's something that had never been thought of and we never thought could happen. The tragic situation of Christians in the Middle East pushes us to create the conditions to achieve unity between our Christians. In my diocese there are also some very difficult situations, such as the effects that stem from the violence from Eta. So we have a lot of healing to do. It is time for a human restoration, a spiritual restoration. The Pope himself closed off the meeting. He greeted the attendees during Wednesday's general audience at the Vatican's Paul VI Hall. In particular, salute vescui amici del Movimento dei Focolari, assicurando la mia preghiera auspico che il carisma dell'unità, a voi particolarmente caro, possa sostenervi e animarvi nel vostro ministero apostolico. Similar gatherings will take place this year in other countries like Lebanon, South Korea, Cameroon, Madagascar, the U.S., and Germany. It will give participating bishops a few days to reflect on one of the charismas of the Focolare movement, which is based on the Golden Rule, do unto others as you would have them do to you.